What's up guys, Dawn D605 here and welcome back to another Q&A video of uh, uh, the uh, um, online Nintendo Network shutdown video. Uh, this is actually something that I have actually completely expected for this kind of video and uh, I, uh, I've i seen some of uh, my uh, the search uh, 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 the the search uh, uh, trafficking in my uh, uh, analytics, and I thought you guys would actually um, appreciate me making this video a lot. And now uh, let's get in right into it. So Nintendo has announced that on uh, April uh, early April 2024 that they are actually going to discontinue the online services for Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U software. What is our lives with Nintendo? I don't know. But apparently what, is, uh, what this means is that they will, uh, it'll include online cooperative play, internet rankings, and data distribution. Now let's talk about data distribution real quick. What does this do? What, how does this affect us? Well, Nintendo will no longer be stabbing our accounts with a band hammer because you cannot, uh, you can't send data through these services to actually provide a, a way to get banned. The, the service, those dreams are gonna be dead, bucko. You, we got Pretendo Network coming out, uh, uh to actually, uh, uh, be f a full pl a program to use to actually pl play online again. Now, speaking of which, of uh, uh, speaking of these, uh, uh, this said uh, uh, Pretendo Network, actually, I actually too have a video that you can check out right now uh, to actually get that set up on your 3DS. Heck, there's actually a um. Uh, a video for the Wii U that you can check out on a separate channel, but uh, I'll leave that uh, linked, uh, those things linked in the description. Now, uh, if, if we go back to uh, my, uh, my channel real quick, you can see that we got a bunch of videos here that you can check out. There, some of them are interesting, some of them are not. I'll admit that. But one in particular that I bet you guys will know is that I made a Pretendo Network uh, tutorial right here. So you, if you guys ever wanted to like, uh, you know, play online with the boys and, and, and you know, uh, have some fun, you know, Mario Kart 7 online with the boys or uh, anytime and anytime. Um, yeah, this is a video that you should definitely look forward to in case Nintendo decides to pull the plug. But as for uh, wh what uh, what we expect to happen, uh, internet rankings. This means like any leaderboards will be closed. That's it. Uh, and, uh, co online cooperative play. Now, this does also include PvP and all that other stuff. Like, anything that requires an internet connection. Uh, yeah, that stuff's gotta be gone. And, uh, data distribution. Yes, that, that technically... Nintendo can't ban you if you're offline. So, in that sense, if they're bringing their services to an end... This means they cannot ban you for not being on their service. Yes, this does also apply to Pretendo, right? All right. So if you're on discontinued service, which is no longer supported, you cannot get banned. Period. So this is actually probably the reason why Nintendo actually was uh, discontinued. Maybe one of the reasons why they were discontinued services, but also because they just didn't want to support it. I I, I understand that a lot, and also. Do not keep your expectations up well above the bare minimum with Nintendo. All right, these people, uh, well, uh, supposedly the people behind it, they, they, I, I don't support. Let's just say this: I don't support bad business practices, and Nintendo is all about, well, not all about that, but supposedly, <laughs> Rockstar Games could do a better job than them at this point. Let's, let's, let's just put it that way. Well, we will not specific date. We will announce a specific end date and time at a later date. Please note that events uh, occur, uh, event occurs and make it difficult to compute. I like how it says that, like, when they said, please note that if an event occurs that would make it difficult to continue in your online services with Nintendo 3DS and Microsoft, we may discontinue services earlier than planned. They actually mentioned this, like, before they announced the discontinuation, and, um, it, it kind of meant, it kind of felt like a threat at some point to the, to the homebrew community. Like, uh, hey, you know, if you're going to start hacking our services, we're taking our service dead. Um, yeah, that just feels like what the outcome of that is. We sincerely thank players for the online service Nintendo over a long period of time and apologize for any inconvenience. This includes a software exclusive to Nintendo new 3DS. This includes software exclusive. So, does this mean, I, I don't think this means that, I, well, I still have to play offline after all, yes. 
But still in and you not require online communication. Yeah, well, of course. And Street Pass also applies to his first Q&A. Um, will, any of, will any online services still be available after online services generally end? It's still possible to use online services, but there may also be an endpoint to some point in the future. Like Pokemon Bank, Poke, Poke Transporter. Yeah, I could see that. Kind of how the Wii went, ended. You know how that went? Remember how that ended? We got Wii of by now. Um, yeah, all that stuff's, all that stuff, gone, dead, Nintendo, out of the question. Wii M Fi, get out of here! Just freaking change your DNS and then you're already on it. It's so easy. In fact, actually, it's easier than uh, connecting to Pretendo for some reason, because you don't even need a jailbroken console for uh, the Wii to actually play online. All you need to do is just change your DNS server to whatever they provide, and you're online. Now, as for Pretendo, this takes a bit of a different procedure. You would have to actually uh, activate a jailbreak on your 3DS or Wii U, supposedly, also, to actually uh, get access to the service, which I guess is pretty okay if you're willing to take some uh, uh, certain risks until the next year. But then again, those risks are very minimal if you know what you're doing. Now, if are you? Let's look at some of more of the Q and A's. Are you also ending online services when Nintendo published other than Nintendo? With some exceptions, online services will end on for all Nintendo software. Please contact publishers for information about the online services for their software. With some exceptions, so that means that any soft some softwares that can actually be owned by like let's say Ubisoft, you know, because Ubisoft, uh. Well, for some of their games like Ra Raving Rabbits Travel in Time, um, it didn't really support William M5 because it was a po they they uh, owned the services on their own platform. Now, keep in mind some of the games like that that are not uh, uh, publishers by Nintendo. Uh, this could fall maybe in the same category for some games. Uh, it will still be possible to download, update data, or purchase software. For the for as foreseeable future, it will be still be possible to download, update data, and re -download. Yeah. So, yeah, because it's like through a local connection, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Will online service, when online services end, will StreetPass and SpotPass no longer be available? StreetPass uses local communication between the 3DS and family systems, meaning it will still be available even after the service communication end. However, because SpotPass uses an online communication, SpotPass potential will be no longer be enabled. This is a, totally something that Nintendo knew that they couldn't take down, StreetPass. Remember that uh, the old time where the high school kids or the school kids would always have like a 3DS and then uh, some reason uh, someone else comes along with 3DS and their things are closed and then, then you get that green light that uh, for some reason you, you're causing like, local communication with each other, which is generally very passive, uh, to be honest. I'll, I'll be saying that to least. It is the most passive feature that has ever existed on local communications for the 3DS. But yet, still gives a benefit to this day to non-modded consoles. I must say, uh, what? Why is Nintendo actually keeping this up? Because it's a local communication, not and it's not hooked up to a server. So they couldn't take it down if they wanted to. All right. So you're okay with Street Pass, but Spot Pass, mm -mm. nah, -uh. couldn't even get that to work. Well, obviously, because they were. I kind of saw that coming earlier because, but even before the shutdown announcement, because, um. When they announced that uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, they disabled Spot Pass for that. Um, it, it was kind of beyond me, but I actually kind of expected it because I didn't know uh, up until this day. I didn't realize that uh, Spot Pass required an internet connection, and uh, surprised me, it did. And this is where we get to uh, the most interesting part. So if you if we go to our channel and uh, my channel at least and you see this video, you'll know a reason why, why I, I'm telling you mod your 3ds. You why why mod it? Because when um, I tell you right now that it's gonna be a lot better when you actually have no way. It's when you have a mod 3ds, you can play online with the boys. You can even play online Mario Kart 7 with the boys. I've done it by myself. I've done it with myself. I've done it with other people uh, that I didn't even know. And, you know, it surprises me is that Pretendo Network, it, it's, their servers are not as populated as Nintendo. So I would see why people, like, 
would go after Nintendo first before they would go after Pretendo, because the servers are more populated. You know, there's more players playing Nintendo, more likely because they want the, to handle that first before uh, before Nintendo actually cuts the run, you know? And, um... I, I, and pretend, Pretendo is kind of like a last resort thing for most of the people's cases. Now, when Nintendo uh, is kaput, meh, now people are some people who don't even know how to mod the 3DS are just going to move on to the Switch, or the people who do actually go to uh, this uh, little procedure to actually play online and actually enjoy their games online again. And, and Pretendo is a really nice project. It's set by a bunch of like very What's talented guys, people. Uh, I'm gonna here. pause this real quick because I don't need to hear myself over myself. Wow, this was uh, ten months ago. I'm actually kind of surprised. So I put some timestamps here. I also put like a tutorial for like the custom firmware ha uh, homebrew. I did uh, provide links, okay, but they're not like links that lead like to um uh. Like, let's say to, like, any direct uh, content, all right? They're just guides. All this is is this guide, so that's not really in my fault uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, and, yes, Nintendo does like to take uh, DMCA out for, uh, uh, for like, people who put links. And uh, I'm not a big fan of it. But I did make the right procedures that this is an educational purpose only video. Well, at least I didn't put any links out in this. Uh, I'm not going to probably put any links out in this video. But I probably will put out. I, I probably will state out that uh, this video is, that I made uh, 10 months ago was for educational purposes. Um, did I actually state that in my, my thing? No, actually I didn't. Well, I'll just say it here right now so you, we don't get stabbed by Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, bros using 3DS camera. Well, that's false. <sighs> the text instructions on the website was were a bit confusing. This really helped. Yeah, I can relate to this guy. <sighs> uh, but yeah, um... Hang on, let me move my camera again. So it's not on the screen. But yeah, um Say goodbye to the Banhammer next year, folks. Because uh <laughs> we got Pretendo Network going on and uh Nintendo ain't gonna last very long before we have to we're we're about to be at the end of the goal point, folks, because um you remember, Nintendo Network can't actually uh, ban you if you're uh, on, uh, not online. So, data distribution being gone, it's a win for us. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.